If you've been out to a nightclub in New Zealand, you've probably encountered this problem. How's it going, mate? Hey. That too casual, bro. Oh. For a long time, many New Zealand night spots had dress codes. The most strictly enforced and hardest to swallow of these rules was around which shoes were sweet to wear to town. Down shoes, down shoes, down My memory was jogged when my friend Tim Lamborn shared this status. And I tend to agree with him. I remember hearing that you had to wear town shoes because sports shoes marked the dance floor. This always seemed like a weak excuse, considering that over the course of a night, most bars' dance floors would probably be covered in broken glass and maybe even spew. I decided to hit the streets to ask a few people if they're still a thing. It's still, it's still there. It's still there. They, they definitely judge you based on your dress. They pay a lot of attention to your shoes. If you're wearing sports shoes, they won't allow you in. See, that, that's actually a health hazard, isn't it? If you have sports shoes on, you've got grip, you can dance better and it will ache le less. So it's clear that this stupid rule is still ruining nights out. But why? Do you think the idea of town shoes is a little outdated? Yeah, hell yeah, absolutely, yeah. So those rules go quite far back, eh? And at the time, maybe this way of dressing was a norm for a certain sect of society. And I think that telling people they couldn't wear sneakers and couldn't wear caps was keeping out a certain element. But now that's become more normal for people to wear. So I think there was a lot of classism and racism going on, to be honest. It seemed like such a pointless rule. It was a massive pain in the ass for punters out in the town. And it forced people to do some pretty weird shit just to get into a bar. First time I went to town, I had out-of-the-box Air Force Ones on. Bouncer goes to me, too casual. Then lets the brother behind me go in with these. Rico Gear sawed the sprigs off his black boots one night in Auckland after playing against the Blues, because he had no clubbing shoes. I needed to know why this rule was enforced, so I spoke to internet mogul and former bar owner, CB Woodhouse, to find out. Crowbar was this kind of institution. For a while, it was probably one of Auckland's top night spots, if not the top night spot. You know, we just managed to create that vibe somehow. So who are you looking to bring in? Pretty girls and guys that weren't afraid of dropping a little bit of money, but I guess it was kind of that cool crowd. What were your rules around footwear? In general, it was kind of, you know, you want black, you know, leather shiny shoes because the people that turned up in sneakers used to have things like, you know, hoodies and, you know, you don't, don't generally wear a really nice suit with, you know, crappy old sneakers. Do you think these rules still have a place today? I think when they weren't enforced, New Zealand was probably, um, you know, a little bit of a less sophisticated market. Los Angeles or, you know, Sydney or something like that. I mean, it's, they'll just refuse you for whatever reason. They have a crowd that they're going for. Maybe CB's right. Maybe I should wear town shoes. So, what's your dress code? Absolutely no dress code. So, our only uh, rule about clothing is that you wear clothing and with shoes that you have some kind of footwear on. That's it. So, you're telling me if I came here on a night out, I wouldn't have to wear these? Absolutely not. In fact, I would recommend not wearing those because those are asking to get trampled on. I think we can all agree that town shoes are rubbish. So, maybe if we all threw them in the rubbish, bars will have to let us wear whatever we like. Ra pomare the spin-off TV.